Welcome to Animal Tracking for Kids with Ann and Ryan. Now we have a story that is being told out right here. Ryan, help me find out what the story is. What do we see right here? A snowshoe hare standing up on his back feet looking behind him. Well, we don't know if he's looking behind him, but we don't we we don't see any front tracks in front of him, do we? Nope. So very likely he stopped right here to take a look around, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's take a look from that track. Where's the next snowshoe hare track? Right here. Right there. Ooh, where's the next one after that? Right here. Actually, that one I think is another day old. See how it's all kind of caved in? Mm -hmm. So these are fresher ones and those are older ones. So that's a good way. We can tell even where the toes are on this snowshoe hare track. And that one looks a little more caved in and convoluted. So we know this one's fresher because it snowed last night, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where's our next fresher track? It's right all, here. all the way over there. Wow. So where's the next track? Right here. Right here. So all the way over here. So let's have a little bit of fun. We're going to measure the difference uh, distance from the first track to the second track as a stride. And then we're going to go from the second track to the third track and see what's going on. So let's come over here to our very first track. I will measure this end if you will get the front end right there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All righty. So, how many inches? 26. 26 inches. Very cool. All righty. So, I'm going to stand here and I will measure this one and you measure the next one. Oh, let's do the one in the middle if you don't mind right there. All righty. 64. 64 inches. So, what do you think happened? I think he got spooked and started running. Start spooked and started running. I want to show you something else that's pretty cool to notice as well. So he's standing up here, and we don't see any front tracks in front of him. And right here, it's maybe, oh, a quarter of an inch, even if that, between the front track and the hind track, right? Mm -hmm. Now, walking over here, we have the front track and the hind track. Now we're up to about an inch difference. Okay. And then over here on the third set of tracks, between the front track and the hind track, now we're up to about two and a half inches between the front track and the hind track. So as he goes faster, the distance between the hind track and the front track gets larger. And we know, again, he's got toes up here, so he is going this way. Um, the other cool thing, again, we know this is snowshoe hair because of how incredibly wide our toe base is. He's got lots of nice even toes, four big even toes, and it's nice and wide in the front and narrow at the back. So we know he is heading up the hill. Um, now, he got spooked by something, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think he got spooked by? The bobcat. The bobcat. Show us why you say that. Because there's bobcat tracks right there. Wow, look at those bobcat tracks. One thing that I love about the bobcat tracks, they are fun because they stalk. And if you look right here, you can see all, there's a, a palm pad right there and a palm pad right there and lots of little toes and kind of mixes in. When a, when a cat is stalking, they lift up one leg at a time and they will set their hind foot directly where the front foot was. So this is showing us he's stalking because he's very carefully being sneaky and quiet and setting his feet directly where the other one was. So he is trying to sneak up on something. So this tells us a fabulous story. This is all kinds of fun, isn't it? So thanks for joining us with Animal Tracking for Kids. Keep on tracking.